Well, I've replaced this bearing now. I swapped it in, the Triumph, out of the uh, good Triumph case. And I also swapped in this needle roller bearing here. So, with the faces fixed now, gentle. I fixed the faces on here with JB Weld, which is temporary, I guess. I could TIG weld it later, but I just wanted to get a rough surface to make to get this thing started. So we fixed up all this edge here and where he had pried it. There's the old bearing. And I don't think soaking it would have helped much. It's quite crusty. Now, I've freed up the drive bearing. It didn't have as much rust at all. And I've been lubing it. And this clip is a lot thinner on the R369 than the 750. And this one's broken, so I'm gonna have to get a new clip. But for now, it's holding the bearing in. Uh, it really didn't need a lot of heat for these bearings to come out, so if you're apprehensive about tapping them out, then don't worry. It takes a few good solid wax, but it came out clean, and uh, we're ready to put this together once we get the gearbox parts. So, good progress. There's the Triumph engine. It's going to go into a box now. I don't think there's anything else I'm going to be taking off of it. We'll leave the crank if we ever need it, I guess, because shipping it's not in question, really. I'm going to sell the barrel, which has a chipped center liner. The bearing looks in very nice shape on this bike, but I can't swap it into the R3 motor, so we're going to use our R3 rocker boxes and the thin R3 push rods since we can change them if one of them snaps, but we're going to go for the lighter push rods in the R3 rocker box and the uh, Triumph head. And there's our R3 cover and our pipes. I found the chain guard for the R3 today and it was in really, really nice shape. So we're going to uh, get finishing the frame. We've got a bit more paint to do, but it's turning out quite well and we're going to have a, a good finish on it once we polish it.